Alright guys, so welcome to another episode of Property Matcha. Alright, so last week I was eating lunch with a few of my friends and then one of my friends mentioned to me that he's very interested in buying a sub-sale unit house. Uh, he told me that he just want to buy a house where it's very close by to his parents. What a good son, lah, right? So we were talking, we were discussing and then he mentioned to me something I felt that I have to share with you guys and also shed some light. He told me that the listing that he saw and the house that he saw was completely different. And then he asked me, he's like, Hey Macha, why are the sub-sale listing images so different? Which is the topic that we will be covering today. Alright, so guys, so buying sub-sale house and buying a new development is actually it's quite different. There are certain procedures and certain arrangements that you will find quite relatively new for you guys, right? So if you were to watch the movie, the series, I would say, Modern Family, you know Phil Dunphy? He's a real estate negotiator. So how does sub-sale work in Malaysia is completely different with sub-sales procedures in other countries. Let's say for example, in the US, let's say you are a real estate agent, you actually have to fight for a listing and once you have fought for listing, that listing is only exclusive for you. Whereby in Malaysia, it's not that way. Owner A can open up the listing to A to Z type of agents and basically the first agent who are able to find buyers and to sell the house successfully will be able to earn the money. Lah. So that is how listing works in Malaysia for sub-sales. Alright, so guys, so one of the main reasons why you see this happening very commonly in the platforms such as Property Guru, maybe iProperty or even Facebook, right? Is because some of these agents they would like to actually defend their listing. So first and foremost, right, when agents obtain this listing, some of them actually have to call the owners and ask if they are actually interested in buying and they have to do some some sort of hard work to obtain the listing and from there they will take pictures and videos and really prep so that you as a buyer can get the highest quality images and video and experience before actually visiting the house okay so that's great but there will be agent b or agency out there be like mm, good job i'm gonna take your hard work i'm gonna make it mine and then i will try to sell this house as well and when that happens it's it feels bad lah, right so that is why there are times you see like dummy photos in all of these uh, platform is to safeguard this agent and is to prevent other agents from undercutting your sales from disrespecting sub sales so it's very important and that's why you see this happening quite a number of times so next time in the future if you guys are very interested in buying sub sales unit go in with an open minded maybe once you text the agent you can also ask um, may i have a look at the actual unit photo the video can i also go and view the unit as well right so it's, these are things that you should take note okay another reasoning on why you see things like this in these platforms right is because of the term called phishing all right, I just want to emphasize real estate agents out there, please do not do this. You're giving good, responsible, ethical, professional real estate agents out there a bad rap when you were to perform this act that is called phishing. All right, so basically, how does phishing work? All right, agent B right here takes a random picture, do some editing, upload it, puts a fake price. And then you as a buyer be like, oh, nice, oh, very affordable. Then you go and inquire. Then after you inquire, then real estate agent B right here be like, we will call some owners be like, hey bro, I found a buyer, you want to sell your house now? Then you'll be like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Then he set an appointment and after you go there, you're like, mm, what's going on? Why the house look different? So this is how they fish for you. And then you cannot the bait lah, basically. Please don't do that. But at times you will face this. So just bear that in mind lah, right? So other than that, this is just a quick summary on why you do see various images for sub sale listing out there and platforms do take note when you are clicking this have an open mind if you have more questions do remember to just leave me a comment or message me on instagram i'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions related to real estate or anything else all right so this is property matcha signing out